Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install a speed test tracker on COS OS. This makes it where you can continuously track your speed of your internet on COS OS using Ookula. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over at Home Lab. So, we're installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So, this is Speed Test Tracker. Uh, you can see a European download, upload from the Ookla, and that's speedtest.net. It checks it every so many, uh, so many hours, so automatically run a speed test every hour. A graph of previous speed tests going back X days. Backup or restore from JSON and CSV format. Slack, Discord, and Telegram notifications, healthchecks.io integration, organizer integration, InfluxDB integration, currently V1 only and V2 is a work in progress. So, and then it shows you how to install it and everything like that. So the default credentials are admin at admin.com and password. So, um, uh, this hasn't been updated since 2021, but if you look on the dev branch, you can see it. he is still working on it. I'm not sure why he's not working on a main branch, but he must be doing something big over here. So it looks like it is still being developed. So I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to go to my, um, my Big Bear Video Assets and show you the Docker Compose. So we're going to start out on the Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the description. Um, so we're going to go to how to install Speed Tracker on COS OS right here. And then I'm going to go to Docker Compose Speed Test Tracker right here. And then I'm going to explain it. So version of the Docker Compose, version 3. Define services, so services and then the service underneath the services is speed test. The conta container name is going to call, uh, be called speed test. The image that I'm using is off Docker Hub. So if there's no uh, a URL before this, then it's automatically coming off of Docker Hub. And then, so port mappings are 8765 on the, uh, the host port to the container port of 80. So you can change the host port if it conflicts with another port. So I'm gonna set a volume. So data, app data, speed test tracker, and then in the container is config. You can change the host side, but do not change the um, cont container side. I'm gonna set some environment variables. So the, uh, the, uh, the time zone is gonna be your time zone. So put it here. And then group ID and user ID, and then uh, acknowledge Ookla's EULA and GDPR set to true. And then we're going to set some lo logging parameters. So make sure the log don't get out of hand with maximum lo log file set to 10, maximum size of each log file to set to 200 ke uh, kilobytes. And then restart policy is unless stopped. So if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. So I'm going to go up here to copy the raw file now that I've explained it. And then I'm going to go over to my COS OS and get it installed. So I'm going to start out on the COS OS. Then I'm going to go to App Store. Then Custom Install. And then Import. And then I'm going to paste in the Docker Compose. Then I'm going to submit, then OK, and then it fills it in. So I'm going to name it uh, Speed Test Tracker. And then I'm going to need to go get an icon URL. So I'm going to go back over to Big Bear Video Assets and get that. So I'm going to go backwards. Then I'm going to go to here. I'm going to co copy it. Then I'm going to go back over to my COS OS and I'm going to paste it in. Then there we go. And then now for the web UI, I'm going to change to 8765 right here for the port. 
and then I'm going to go down here to host volume. For some reason, it sometimes doesn't keep the right stuff. So I'm gonna do speed test tracker, config, and then config. It filled in this correctly. So now, should be all good. So I'm going to install now. This could take a bit. So now it's installed. So now you can go ahead and open tips to where you can have your own tips. And then settings, you can go in here and change the settings again. You can go to terminal logs, and this is great for debugging, and then export Docker and post file right here. Once you change things in here, you press save. So you can check the, uh, for updates on the container, this only checks for the current tag it's on. And then un uninstall, restart, power off and on. So I'm gonna go into it and open it and see if it works. Okay, you can see it started up. So we're gonna get to testing it. So now when you open it up for the first time, it'll say not a number because there's nothing like, um, uh, there's no data. So you can go up here and say test again, and then it'll queue it up. In the meantime, wh while the queue's going, I'm gonna go show you the other things. Like you can see all the tests that run, there's no tests run yet. And then settings, you can change the app name. You, you can schedule the enabled, you can turn it off and on. Uh, this is a cr Chrome job that runs the speed test. And then, um, uh, uh, you can pick, pick server IDs for speedtest.net, show average, max, minimum. Then you can, you can have, you can customize the graphs. Here's the tables you can customize. There's the notification center to where you can get sent no uh, notifications. And then th here's the health checks uh, config, uh, dot, uh, the health checks.io config. Then here's the influx db config. You can reset the whole database and just delete them all. Then you can back up and restore. You can back up with JSON and CSV or CSV. And then um, let's go back over to the homepage and looks like it is uh, doing a speed test. So you can see the last performed uh, 216 and then 3.7 milliseconds on the ping. 853 uh, megabits uh, per second uh, and, and on the upload is 904.1 on, on the um, so a uh, megabits per second I mean so it looks like it is performing so you can say test again and it'll put it on the queue to test again or it does it every hour so that's how speed test tracker works it, it's pretty neat and it's handy being able to keep up with your speed test if you're having issues or if you just want to know what your speed is on your internet so i just walked you through step by step on how to get speed test tracker working on cost os this made it to where i can easily keep up with my test of my network uh so if you're having any problems you can know when you're having problems and what time you're having problems within the hour at least so you can change the Chrome job to be more frequent. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link down in the YouTube description. And stay tuned for more.